good. All right, we're gonna check out the GR20 first on how to check the battery water. Come on, follow me over here. So the GR20's got a couple things. The batteries are underneath the uh, platform here. So you have to turn on the uh, machine itself to get to the batteries. So come back here. In order to operate it from the back, the key's gotta be turned to the right over here. And all the red stops, even on the controller up there, have to be un or pulled out. On these newer GR20s, you have to hold this button and then you go up with the up arrow, right? You don't have to go up too high. Just high enough to get to this compartment down here. Where you lift this up. And this acts as the dead man switch too, or dead man. So if the lift were to fall, this is going to stop you from getting your head crushed. So on these batteries right here, all batteries, or most of these batteries that go into scissorless, unless they're like lithium ion, I think. Anyway, I don't know if those have water. These have water. So to check it, you've got to turn these things and pull it off. Ricky and I here did this yesterday, so the water is all the way up to the top, but you would check them all just to make sure. And it needs to be done every 90 days. That way, you know, evaporation and so on and so forth, that's gonna make the life of the battery lasts much longer, keeping it full of water. All right, Ricky, come back over here. So now lower it, you do the same thing. You hold the power button and you bring it down. And then to drive it, you can't drive from back here. So you got to turn it back over to the power up here. Okay, if we were gonna put it up, I got one more lift I'm gonna show. So I guess I'll do that real quick before I drive it back. So we carry two different kinds of lifts, Skyjack scissor lifts, Genie man lifts. And so on these Skyjack scissor lifts, uh, most of them are all on the same side. I think it's this side right here. You'll have a little knob you grab to pull out the whole compartment. And then to check the batteries again, just do this. We filled these up yesterday, so they're looking good. Right, screw it back on. Pretty simple. Also, these are much simpler to check because you don't have to lift it up or anything like that. You just pull out the side and then you're ready to go. That's pretty much it for the batteries.